I'm now in the wheat fields in southern Beijing. China is now able to feed 20% of the world's population with just 9% of its arable land. Its grain output accounts for about a quarter of the world's total. Over the past decade, the country saw a steady growth in grain production, even amid the coronavirus pandemic. In terms of grain output per capita, in 2012, it was 452 kilograms. A decade later, it's risen to 474 kilograms, well beyond the UN food security standard. Food self-sufficiency is not just China's only goal. It's also working on modernizing agricultural development. To date, agriculture has been optimized, with a lower share of farming through the years giving way to an increase in other sectors. China is now the top producer of cereals, cotton, fruit, vegetables, meat, poultry, eggs, and aquatic products. This has helped diversify people's diets and improve nutrition. Now check out this massive greenhouse where cherry tomatoes are grown. An example of China narrowing its gap with advanced countries in using scientific technology to develop agriculture. The contribution rate of SciTech to this sector has exceeded 60% for the first time in 2021. That's a 7 percentage point increase from a decade ago and triple the figure of 1949 when the People's Republic of China was founded. The digital economy is booming as a new sector in China's rural areas thanks to advanced logistics and nearly full access of the internet. There has been a tenfold increase of online stores in China's villages in the past 10 years. Retail sales from this amounted to almost $300 billion in 2021. China will continue finding ways to improve agricultural modernization that meets the needs of its 1.4 billion population.